And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Cookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Cookup. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Cookup. Pete Gray, Rock God, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Corey Sandin in the studio here with Mr. Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. We're very excited to have Greg. There's a very special, special show for us. It's going to be super knowledgeable. He is... He has been fishing, and he's going to tell you all about it. So you stay tuned. This is Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. When it comes to catching big bluefin tuna in local waters, Shimano has the gear proven to land the big ones. You already know the hot jig is the Shimano Butterfly Flatfall Jig. And when you match that with the right tackle system, it makes this great jig even more effective. We suggest you grab a Tranks 500 HG and fill it with 80-pound Power Pro Max Quattro. Max Quattro is 25% thinner, which means 25% more line capacity when you hook that giant. Match your new setup with a Therese 70H and you have the power Power to put the wood to that big blue fin tuna. The Tranks 500 HG has the cranking power you need. And with the level wind, you concentrate on fishing your Shimano flatfall and leave the line control to the Tranks reel. Hundreds of big fish have been caught on the flatfall. And when you add the Power Pro Max Quattro Tranks to Res Combo, you'll take your fishing to the next level. See your local dealer or check Shimano.com for all the details. You've heard all about it. You know the angler's catching fish habit, so what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish-finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone, whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use this special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Cast Tours is a family-owned and operated travel company that specializes in taking you to great fishing destinations. They take pride in providing the best and most affordable vacation packages available. For over 20 years, Cast Tours has been creating unique sport fishing and vacation trips. Whether it's a fishing trip, a family vacation, or an adventure, they will provide you the service and value you deserve. Call Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or check casttours.com. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. up. All right. Good morning and welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. And beautiful day out. Oh, it's another gorgeous day in Southern California. Right around the corner at Thanksgiving, tuna are still biting, and uh, Crazy. we're ready to go saw, fishing. I saw the count from Bug yesterday, yeah. man. Like, Got are him, you kidding huh? me? Yeah. A lot of tuna, man. Yeah, and close. 
like insane. Yeah, so we'll hear a lot about that during the show here. But what a great guest, a guy who's fished it all, done it all here in our industry, Greg Stotesbury. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, guys. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, AFCO Manufacturing, you guys are just killing it here. What a what a change from making gaffs and, and harnesses and belts, and now you guys are doing all kinds of things, right? The, the company is growing in leaps and bounds. I mean, you know, of course, about our clothing business and what that's all done, and now that we're on the freshwater side of the clothing as well, we've got, of course, all the saltwater stuff and all kinds of gear now to fit all the bass guys and the Midwest fishermen and everything else. So the clothing business grew tremendously. And now um, Bill and, and Casey have really wanted to point the business in a direction where we just make more consumer product, yeah. more consumable types of things, things like, like uh, fluorocarbon leader, which we're doing now, our new Psycho Pro. Uh, we're doing knives, um, lots of stuff coming down the line in the whole line category. But we're just... Uh, the company's wanting to make more products that fishermen use on a daily basis and that they use up because you buy a set of gaffs for the boat, you might have them for 15 years. Especially an AFCO gaff. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. this stuff just lasts so long that yeah. it, 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 it sometimes cuts you out of sales down the road. So we're wanting to do more and more things that guys are going to use up and use yeah. on a daily basis, and that's uh, that's kind of the direction that it's that it's going. Well, your clothing line is just fantastic. I mean, the clothing is, is it's I wear I wear it every day. I mean, it's, I wouldn't you know it is made for fishermen. We um we were very lucky to get the designers that we got here five or six years ago that, or more ten years ago that came out of the surfwear industry when it was in a in a real downturn, and um, the, the sheds were were real smart about capturing those guys, whether they came from snowboard or they came from surf or they came from a combination of both. We had really talented designers that know the fabrics and know the construction and just know the stuff that works. I mean, you see all this new fabric and new technology that we've got. It's, it's, uh, it, it, it'll compare with any clothing brand on the market, any of the technical brands, whatever. We sell against those guys one-to-one all through the southeast and all the parts of the country where they wear a lot of that gear. And in, in a lot of cases, we outsell some of the giant brands that you've heard of. It's just our line has gotten to be that good. Uh, the, the line of clothing is tremendous. Designed guy, guy, by guys that fish. Exactly. And, <laughs> and, you know, we've proven it. I mean, we take stuff out and we beat it up. Uh, yeah. You know, things like our anhydrous rain gear. I've never had rain gear like that. No. I mean, it's, that stuff's insane. Yeah. I mean, you stay dry no yes. matter what. Absolutely. And, and, uh, and then now all the underlayers. I mean, I was just up in Northern California doing some hunting. And even though I'm hunting, I'm still wearing the AFCO Adder down jacket and yeah. wearing the AFCO performance shirts underneath that. and. Things like the fleece jacket that you're wearing this morning. Yeah, it's all um, it's all designed to work together, and it's made out of fabrics that that really complement each other. So you can have a few layers and be totally warm and protected, yep. um, without having excessive amounts of bulk or having fabrics that are going to absorb moisture and be uncomfortable to wear. So yeah. it's been been fun to see. That, like this Horizon jacket. It's, yes, it's amazingly everyday wear, but when the weather turns, um, it's it's windproof, waterproof. Yeah, um, it, that's the type of uh, st- stuff that you're building. Yeah, that jacket and the vest that goes with it, those things have been super popular. Yeah, like I was telling you this morning, the one thing I find with the jacket, unless it's really cold out, it's too warm. It's 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 got such great insulation, yeah, even though the does. fleece is thin. It's got such great insulating properties that it's got to be fairly chilly for it to be comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I find it. I, I, it's a perfect boat jacket too. Yeah. The other thing too that AFCO's doing these days too is is a pri- a private branding too, logoing with either. Uh, um, with silk screening or with uh, embroidery, right? And you can do that for companies now on your on your uh, on your various products. We do a lot of that. Um, we don't we don't actually do it in house. We have a couple of outside vendors that do it for us. But we get lots and lots of people, big big companies like you know Johnson Outdoors and and all kinds of other folks out there that are that are buying our stuff and, and putting their names yeah. on it and logoing it up and and then reselling it or giving it out to their pros or their staff or whatever. That's a that's a big part of the business. Yeah, for sure. So uh, let's talk about some of the new products on the tackle side, and and one in particular is the Senko Pro, 100% fluorocarbon. Talk about that. That the Cycle Pro is is our new fluorocarbon leader. Um, we decided here about two years ago we started working on this project to develop um, a very high end quality fluorocarbon leader material, and then. The, all the other products that relate to that, all the other usables, the, whether it's braided line or, or nylon line, whatever. Um, so we started out with, with fluorocarbon. We developed everything from 12 to 300 pound test. Um, we're working in conjunction with a factory called Sunline out of Japan. Sunline is a super premium uh, manufacturer in, in southern Japan that does 
they sell more saltwater high-end fluorocarbon in, in Japan than anybody. Wow. Um, they're the number one brand over there. And they've made huge inroads here in the freshwater bass market with their with their Sunline. I think their line, one of them is Shooter, and they have a bunch of different names for them. But they came into a very, very crowded field in the, in the freshwater bass market. And have literally taken it over. They have I mean, taken it over. Yeah. I mean, they have taken And the reason they did is the consistency and the quality of their product. So we, um, through one of our, our freshwater bass contacts in the Midwest, we were able to make contact with the factory. And um, Casey and I flew over there here last year, went to Japan, and, and uh, went to the factory, spent a week there, to, and literally sat in a big boardroom with a bunch of their, their engineers and tech people and developed this line of fluorocarbon. And when wow. I say develop, we gave them what we thought we needed in diameter, in abrasion resistance, in strength, in stretch, color, um, all the different properties. And the one thing we really focused on was abrasion resistance. We wanted a line that was super abrasion resistant even after it had been initially broke down. So you know, all you really care about is what is the line when the fish is at the boat, how much strength do you have left? And so knowing and realizing that, we developed a line to have extreme strength after abrasion. Wow. And I'm talking testable numbers that you can go in and you can abrade all kinds of different fluorocarbon and give the same test to it, all these different lines, and then break it after the fact. And this PsychoPro that we make is the best by far, about wow. 20% better than anything else 20 out there. After that's, abrasion. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. It really is. So it's it's it does things like, you know, when you're fighting a big bass somewhere here in San Diego where you got a lot of big granite boulders, granite's super abrasive, and those fish are going to get around a boulder on you. So you're going to scrape the line a little bit. But all you care about is I want to get him to the boat and get, get my hands on him or get him in the net or whatever. This line allows you to do that even after it's been damaged. Interesting. And, uh, and with your background, you've got to have that 12-pound. <laughs> I mean, I'm using the, lots, the of 12 yeah. Pound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> lots of 12-pound. Lots of 12 pounds. So it's it's been a fun project. Um, working with Sunline has been awesome. They've got a suite of products over there that is unbelievable as far as what they do and what they can do. Um, we went in and, I, I mean, the, the machinery, the QC department, everything over there was, was very interesting to see. And I learned so much about, about fluorocarbon line and how it's developed. And uh, I think we I think we hit it. I mean, I think we hit our target. It's great stuff. It's, yeah, I've been using it. And you have it. It's not just for freshwater guys. It's You have it all the way up to 300-pound test. You use it for tuna and, and marlin and everything else. Well, you know, specifically, it's really we designed it for saltwater. But, I mean, that being said, a lot of the conditions that you're going to need in salt or freshwater are similar, especially in the lighter tests. Um, but, no, it's, it's, it's directed at the saltwater guy. So, the, so that, that you developed it, and both in pink and clear. Pink and clear up to 80-pound test, uh -huh. and then everything over 80 is all clear. Uh -huh. uh, but the pink, you know, that's kind of an inside deal. A lot of guys like that pink color. Oh, yeah. Using live bait, it gets it gets bit really well. And, yeah. and not just here, but I've got a bunch of guys in, in, uh, in Florida and in the heart of our market in the, in the South Atlantic that they all want pink leader material. No kidding. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What is it about pink? You know, I think there's something with the refract refractive index on it where it, it uh, you know, red, of course, is the first color to disappear as it goes underwater. And for whatever reason, I, I don't know what it is about the makeup of a, of a fish's eye, but it seems like whenever you use that pink leader, especially when you're using live bait, when they're getting a really good look at it, they just don't see it as well. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, that's... That's my theory, and that's sure. what I think and what a lot of the guys I've talked to It just believe. gets bit better. It, it, it really better. does. Yeah, no other way to put it. Yeah. yeah. What about in freshwater? Is, do you guys use pink in freshwater? You know, for, for my style, it would be reactionary, so it, you know, really, it, it wouldn't have that large of an impact. But I know Greg is uh, a, bait, a bait or? guy, too, crawdads. Yeah, but, you know, using, I think either way, it probably would work, but I'm more of a clear guy in freshwater. I for whatever reason, I like clear or green tint. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not saying the pink won't work, but just for me personally, I've always liked clear. Uh, like yeah. a smoke or a, or, yeah. a, or a green, like you're saying. You know, it just it, it's more of a natural kind of a... Yeah. Where, yeah. where the ocean, the pink is like the deal. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know whether it has to do with the depth of the water or what it is, but for whatever reason, we've got it. And our pink is, is not dyed after the fact. It's actually the, the Psycho Pro has the pink built right into the resin. Wow. So it's not something that's going to wear off or fade. It is a true pink color. It's not a coating. Not a coating. Yeah. Not a coating on yeah. the line. So. Now, talk about the new AFCO knives. Those are the filet knives. Those yeah. are cool. <laughs> so we, we uh, again, kind of determined that, you know, a lot of people have knives on their boats. And a yeah. lot of people want a good high-end filet knife that they can actually resharpen and that will hold an edge and all that. So we uh, we teamed up with a company called Boker, who's out of, out of Solingen, Germany. 
they make very, very high end. I mean, everything from literally swords and sabers down to pocket knives. But they do it at a very high level. They're kind of the AFCO, if you will, of, of the knife world. Uh-huh. And uh, we went to Boker and said, hey, what is the very best stainless steel? What's the best grind? Um, let us design a, a, a handle to fit the knife. And we designed three different knives, an 8, a 10, and a 12-inch, kind of a scimitar, what you might call like a breaking knife. Mm-hmm. But it's a flexible blade fillet knife uh, made out of 4116 German stainless steel. Uh, we put titanium nitride coating on it. That's why the blades look gold. They've actually got a titanium nitride oh, coating, uh-huh. which gives you corrosion resistance, gives you hardness. It makes the knife super slick, so you can you know you can lay the fillet off the knife really easily. And I think it's got just the right amount of flex, yeah. so that you can you can flex it down to the backbone on a fish when you're trying to lay a fillet off and get every last little bit of that blue fin. Or and the handles are great. Yeah. 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 So the handles, those are all uh, TPR overmolded rubber over the top of nylon. And we spent a ton of time with that thing. We modeled that thing uh, in a bunch of different ways to try to determine the right shape for your hand so you could grip the knife so that it had a, a big enough hilt that your, your fingers wouldn't slip forward when they're slimy. And, um, again, I, I think after all the prototypes and all the trouble we went through, I, I think we hit it right. That titanium coating sounds really interesting. Does that help hold the, uh, an edge on the cutting edge, it, or is that... You know, specifically, Corey, it does not help you hold the edge because the titanium is actually ground off at the very cutting edge. I got gotcha. you. So it's okay. it's it's more to protect the blade itself. You know, with all high-end stainless steel, it's kind of a misnomer that it's stainless. It's not stainless. If you put salt water on it and you let it sit in the case and you don't rinse it off, it will eventually get rust and corrosion. Well, which in all reality, it's stainless, right? Yeah. It stains stainless. less. It stains <laughs> less. Yeah, good point. <laughs> but but high-end stainless steel's got carbon in it, which makes it harder, which, so it holds an edge better. So we put the titanium on as kind of an offset for the fact that there is carbon in the knife. And so it will allow the knife to, to look nice and remain nice and smooth and clean. But the, the actual cutting edge that you cut fish with is a 17-degree edge, uh, which is an ideal cutting edge. It's easy to resharpen on a stone. And, I mean, I've been using my knives now for three or four months. I haven't resharpened them yet. Wow. I mean, they're That's still crazy. perfectly sharp. Wow. But I do know you can hit them on a stone and easily bring them, bring them right back if right you need to. And so we know that's uh, not from the lack of catching fish. For yeah, lives. that's yeah. <laughs> Speaking of catching fish, you just returned from an epic journey with Anthony Shea and his... Epic's uh, not even the uh, word. Yeah, it's like beyond epic. And, and setting a new world record for, the, for 330 marlin released in one day. Yes. Tell, tell us about this like, trip. It got like, a lot of press and pretty amazing. Not, I mean, just yeah. as a listener, wrap your mind around 330 marlin in one day. In one day. If I, if I wouldn't have been there on the boat and been part of the whole deal, I, I honestly would not have believed it was possible to catch that many billfish in a day. <laughs> but we did it. We did it uh, thanks to Anthony Shea and the whole Bad Company team, Steve Lassley and David Trailer and and uh, all the folks that were that were on the boat uh, as part of the staff and everything. We um yeah, an we, all-star cast. We did. We had we had a great group of anglers. My my brother Michael was was with me and and uh, a bunch of other folks, Jimmy Decker and Eric Landisfind and Jock Albright. Jock Albright, Charlie Albright who was yeah. just an animal. Um, JD JD Dowdy was yeah. with us. John was with us. Um we had a couple of war heroes with us. Yeah, that's cool. That were friends of Anthony's that were Phenomenal guys. And uh, Kerry Chen, the artist, came with us, flew out from Jamaica and fished with us. So we had a really good team. And Anthony, being the the brilliant team builder that he is, he knew how to put the right group of guys together. And um, we had perfect conditions. We had we had meatballs with, with Marlin that, that stayed up for a decent amount of time. The Marlin were not real big. They were mostly 50 to 100 pounds that first day that we set the record. And um, in six and a half Perfect hours, size. yeah, they're, well, you know, easy to easy to, to land and get released. Yeah. Um, unlike the last couple of days when the fish were all 100 to 200 pounds, <laughs> and a lot of us got our butts kicked. We had fish that stretched us out that were pretty much unlandable unless you chase them with a the boat. But no, we the first day we went through I think somewhere over a thousand live baits. Um, mackerel. Mackerel. We ran completely out of bait at one o'clock in the afternoon. We had 197 fish at one in the afternoon. We ran completely out of bait. Nothing on the boat. We turned and did 20 knots in the 92 footer that we were fishing and did 20 knots back into Mag Bay. I think it was about a 30 mile run. Met up with a 144. Transferred all the bait off the 144 onto the 92. Ran 30 miles back out. Got back out there at three in the afternoon and between three and 5:30. We finished the 330 fish. Wow. 
That is wow. crazy. I'm yeah. slack jawed. I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. like, wow. So, what, so, so, a, a legal, you know, technical term for landing a marlin is getting it up to the boat to the leader. Well, for for us, here's here's the deal. Um, according to IGFA, you can have a 30 foot leader on the tackle we were using. We were using mostly 30 and 40 pound running line. To IGFA, that would mean 30 and 50 because they don't even recognize 40. Using the, mono fluorocarbon. Uh, using monofilament. Monofilament. Just just regular monofilament, and then we had we had pre-tied. I say we, Charlie, mostly had pre-tied a little over a thousand little short four-foot liters of AFCO Psycho fluorocarbon in either 60 or 80 pound wow. to a fine wire 80 circle hook. So he snelled all these liters we had pre-snelled wow. and coiled and in bags. So we were taking the, the, the short length of fluorocarbon. In, in most cases, I was using a back-to-back -back uni. I was using a back-to-back -back uni right to my running line. So the liter is only three or four feet long. So that when we re release the marlin, you could wrap up on your running line within 30 feet of the fish, so 30, 30 foot leader length, um, and break the line. And once you broke the line, we considered that a release fish. So right. we were within 30 feet. Um, we did leave a little short trace in some of the fish where the hook didn't straighten out or pull out. Uh, we actually never broke a single Psycho Pro leader, not one. Crazy. Wow. We got either the running line or the hook back every time. And what was the connection between the mono and that short leader? Uh, just a back-to-back -back uni knot. Oh, I was using a, I was using a four-turn uni, just back-to-back. Oh, -back. Okay. But believe me, in the mayhem, you tie anything you could get tied <laughs> as quick as you could tie it. Wow. And hook another bait on and, and throw out again. But if you guys can imagine, imagine the 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 back corner of the Royal Polaris in a wide open. 50 to 100 pound yellowfin tuna bite where you've got like three rows of guys all casting and all bit at the same time. Oh my. Only it's all marlin. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, and we, they're going every which every way. Every direction. And you know what? We never, Michael or I, and I think Jock and Charlie would say the same thing, we never had one fish get sawed off. Everybody wow. went over and under and worked around the pulpit and worked wow. together awesome. Worked, everybody worked together perfectly. And that was the key was that Anthony put a team of guys together that, that really were were talented and experienced and knew what to do. And the guys that were less experienced mostly stayed in the back, and they mostly drug dead baits or they had the teasers in the water, and they caught a ton of fish too. I mean, I don't know how many J.D. caught. He caught gobs of fish fishing out of the back end of the boat. Wow. Skipping and, a dead And bait. every one of them, like, safely, cleanly released. Every single one. Yeah. Like, so, no, like I guess what I'm trying to say is none of them are brought on board and no. and, and dealt with that way. They're, they never leave the water. We, had, we had one fish... In, in four days, 900 fish in four days. We had one fish, I think, on the second or third day that got up underneath the boat and, and hit the wheels, and we ended up taking that fish and, and flaying it out. And You, were, you were forced to keep it. We yeah. were forced to keep that yeah. one. But, yeah. but no, all clean. And we had an IGFA guy on board as well. And we had a videographer on board, and we had two different cameras. We took over 4,000 pictures on the oh, boat. Wow. So, so it's all documented. And there's documented. some great videos on YouTube right now. There are. Right? There's videos on YouTube right now. Carrie Chen just put one up, kind of shows the two boats. Um, so if you want to see those, where could we access them? Just to, uh, Team Bad Company? You or? probably you probably could, if you if you search Anthony Shea on on, um, on Facebook, you'd find him on there. I think his, he's full of, he can't yeah. accept any more friends, but you'll find the videos on there. And Anthony actually... Um, he kind of lines out how many baits we used and how many days we fish and how many gallons of fuel we burned, I think, and a little wow. bit of everything. But uh, it was pretty amazing, and it was what a great group of guys. And the war heroes were phenomenal. Yeah. Getting to meet those American heroes was probably the most impressive part for me of that whole trip. That's, That's cool. Crazy. And what an honor for you and your brother and, and all those guys to be on that trip. In every way. Yeah. In every way. That's I really can't thank Anthony I, enough. I didn't know you were going, and all of a sudden I see this picture. I'm looking at Anthony's uh, Facebook page, and I was like, it's Greg! <laughs> it's Jimmy! Yeah. It's John! <laughs> right? Look at that! We were very lucky to get the golden ticket on that Yeah, one. I guess. That's cool. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. A lot to talk about. Greg can fish. We haven't even ventured into swordfish yet. I know. It's kind of the new crazy. buzz and all that. So, a lot to talk about here. I mean, here. all the new APCO stuff, yeah. and, then, and then talking about this world record uh, marlin catch, and all yeah. this 330 marlin, man. We have yeah. a lot to touch. And a great prize, too. Are you kidding me? The one caller, or two lucky people there, is it one? It's one person. One person one is going to win one heck of a deal here. Probably $250 or I more? Did, yeah, retail, it's at least 250 bucks for this Okay. Stuff. Give us a shout. 833-288-0973. One lucky caller today is going to win three of the new APCO filet knives. Three spools of the AFCO Psycho, Psycho Pro Leader. Psycho Psycho Pro Pro Leader. Leader. It's going to be totally stoked. Somebody's yeah. going to be dialed in today. Three of the new fillet knives, the AFCO fillet knives, and three of the new AFCO Psycho Pro uh, 
the leader. And, Coil's the leader. And, yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll, so they'll send that right directly from AFCO for you. So give us a shout, 833-288-0973. We're going to be right back with Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and network. When bad weather and rough seas send other boats back to the dock, SeaKeeper allows you to fish longer and fish harder, even in the roughest conditions. Here's great news. If your boat is between 27 and 32 feet, SeaKeeper has you stabilized. The SeaKeeper 2 is optimized to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on boats up to 35 feet. Even better, this SeaKeeper 2 is so small it can fit inside a customized leaning post and operate off battery power, making installation fast and easy. Check out the SeaKeeper demo boat at upcoming shows and arrange a free test ride on the boat with the SeaKeeper team. SeaKeeper has changed the lives of many Southern California anglers, including Pete Gray, and will allow you to stay on the fishing grounds when others need to head back to port. To learn more about how SeaKeeper can change your life on the water and book your free demo ride, visit SeaKeeper.com slash take a ride. Think about it. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your boat. Once you feel it, you'll never boat without it. Seakeeper. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next-generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com. And find a dealer near you. Two years ago, Gamakatsu set out to develop a hook light enough for live bait to swim naturally, yet strong enough to handle your next trophy bluefin. The answer? The Gamakatsu Nautilus Heavy Duty. Most captains agree the Gamakatsu Nautilus hook is best for tuna. And now with the introduction of the Nautilus HD, no matter how big the tuna, Gamakatsu has a hook to handle it. The new Nautilus HD is now available with solid ring or standard hook. Get it now at select tackle shops and start getting bit. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guest names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-225. 1-800-646-BAHA and RanchoLanero.com I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. It's Yamaha's Why Wait for Spring Fall Sales Event. From October 1st to November 26th, take advantage of special offers on eligible new 2.5 to 300 horsepower four-strokes and be ready to hit the water in spring. For details, visit YamahaOutboards.com or your local Yamaha Outboards dealer today. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. For limited time only. Offer ends November 26, 2019. Subject to change. Other restrictions and conditions apply. Select models excluded. See authorized participating Yamaha Outboard dealers for details. Cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. Hey, welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Yeah. Good times, man. Good times, man. Greg Stotesbury, great friend and uh, just a super fisherman. I mean, we've, we haven't even ventured into... So, so what's, what about this swordfish thing? Before we jump into the phones, let's, we got to... I mean, you're, we're going to go try it on my boat uh, yes. after the show today. Yeah, I can't wait. See if we can, uh, we can get lucky and, and, and catch one of those things. What about this whole new phenomenon that catching local swordfish. It's it's definitely the thing right now. Yeah. There were yesterday morning my brother said there was 19 boats off of Newport all drifting for swordfish. Wow. And at uh like 10 in the morning when I talked to him there'd already been a half a dozen bites and at least one or two fish caught. Wow. Um so this is a legitimate deal. It's legit. And it's you know this is the thing that's been going on all over the world where they have swordfish. Everybody's been catching them deep drifting for years Uh and we screwed around with it here and trying to do it for for the last 10 years and we've had some bites and i know now we we had actually a number of bites almost every time we tried it we had a bite and we hooked some fish but never landed one never got one of the interesting and then finally this year mostly because of the deep set buoy guys 
everyone started to look at what they're doing with the buoy gear and go, hey, why can't we do that with sport tackle? So a few of us started fishing with sport fishing tackle and, and fishing down 700 to 1,200 feet and looking for the conditions in that deep scattering layer where we knew the swordfish were swimming and feeding during the day. And all of a sudden, at Catalina is where it kind of all started, um, there was a good friend of ours that, that lives on Catalina Island that's a professional captain that was taking his 20-foot skiff out right in front of the can dump, and he was drifting, and he caught a swordfish. And then he got another swordfish. And next thing you know, Bobby Lee had like three or four fish. Wow. But he's, you know, Bobby's a professional guy, but he's an Avalon guy, and he's kind of semi-commercial type of deal. And so he was doing it, and he was using squid, and it was really simple. He's fishing one rod and putting a squid down 1,000 feet and drifting in the bait out there. So Here, uh, here's my question. Is how, like, is this one of the Wahoo years, you know, like where we're catching Wahoo locally and, no. and coming and going? No. Or is this? This has been here. This has been here. This forever. stuff lives here. It lives here. And it lives here in a time of year that you don't even know it's even here. So here's, wow. like, I got in a conversation with the guys at Fisherman's Landing. We were in there. Yeah. It wasn't a debate, but it was kind of like a, a bantering. Because of... those guys have been getting them, and they've been rigging people up. By yeah, absolutely. Getting yeah. ready, yeah. And so we were kind of bantering, and they were like, man, maybe this is one of those Wahoo years. I'm like, no way, man. Like, how many, I asked them, here's my question. It's like, how many are you seeing on the surface? And they're like, oh, well, I really haven't seen any. And uh, I'm like, well, it, how about the years that you actually see Five of them up in a day, you know? Like, how many are actually around at that point, yeah. you know? So less There's than, a lot of them. Less than 10% of them actually come completely to the surface in fin. Yes. Less than 10%. Less than 10%. Right. So whatever you're seeing on the surface, you know, there's there's many, many more down below. This fish has been here, and it is here in most years. And I think there, there, there's, there's going to be good and bad swordfish yeah. years. But I think when the bait is here, the fish has been here. It's been here forever. It's just people haven't been fishing for it the right way, and they haven't been fishing at the right depth. And I think they probably spend the majority of their life at that depth. They spend they spend well over ninety percent of their time at that de- during the day, if not feeding. more, at that depth feeding. They well, only come it, up at night. In anywhere from eight hundred to maybe two thousand feet of water. They 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 mostly spend their time in the deep scattering layer, and so. And, if, and so a listener might be here in a DSL, you know, there's yeah. a deep scattering layer. Like, what the heck is that? But I know that from the bait fishing days. And right. It was actually much shallower. but Yes. Yes. So at night, the DSL comes up. But during the day, it goes down. And, and it's just, it has What is a deep scattering layer? So the deep scattering layer is this band of life in the ocean that, that rises and falls with the, with the light of day. And there are areas where this band of life is thicker. It's like a blanket. There's other areas where it's thinner, where there's not as much of it. Most of it is comprised of a, of a critter called a euphacid, which is a little tiny shrimp. And the euphacids are kind of the bottom of the food chain for the hake and the mackerel. Is that like a krill? Maybe? It's like a krill, okay. very similar to a krill. It, it might even be you know, nearly identical to a krill. Yeah. But it lives at that depth, and it comes up and down with the daylight. The swordfish live in there and feed. That's their primary feeding zone is where the euphacids are. So, because the hake are in there. Exactly. The, what, whatever. Squid. Squid, hake, mackerel, sardine, um, you know, whatever else you find. They're Everything. all living in that biomass, yeah. which They're is living. the DSL. The That's the DSL. Layer. So the DSL is the key to where you want to fish for swordfish. Interesting. So the guys that are really in the know and really good at this, they have machines with 2 and 3 kW transducers where they can, they can pound the bottom in a couple thousand feet of water. They meter the DSL. And in the DSL, you meter swordfish. Wow. And I showed you a picture you last a picture night, of it. Pete. Yeah. That's crazy. Pretty amazing. You can meter the swordfish, and you can put the bait on the swordfish, and you can catch the swordfish if you do it right. Are wow. you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, let's go live down to Paradise right now. Mr. John Ireland's calling us from Rancho Lanier. Buenos dias, John. Hey, Pete. Hello, Corey. Hello, Greg. Good morning. Hey, forget down here. I want to go catch a swordfish. Yeah, well, you got them down there, too. Yeah, we do. Up on the top, really, really interesting stuff. You know, they're really tuggers, as you know. When you get one on, they're ferocious fighters. I, I wonder how many they actually land. Do they? You, you must use heavy test line for them for sure, because because I know down by us, it's very seldom that we get one taken over 200 pounds, and we'll get maybe maybe four or five a year. That's all we pick up down there. And they're funny, you know, you've got to stun the bait. They don't like the real lively bait, so you have to take the bait and stun it. And, and they're lazy, they'll they'll swim around the boat, you know, and not take any bait for, for half an hour, 45 minutes, and then swim off. 
they're an interesting fish, but when you do get one on, they really tug. Interesting stuff. There. Oh yeah, <laughs> no doubt about it. So <laughs> no what's going on? It. What's going on with the fishing at Rancho Leon Arrow? Well, you know, we're only sending uh, we're winding down for the season, and we're sending out just a couple boats a day. And but that said, the fishing's pretty darn good. We got 79 degree water, and wow. it's been fishable all week. Cool mornings. Gosh, it was 61 degrees at uh, five o'clock the other morning, 5:30 in the morning. Wow. So it's it's cooling down. It's it's definitely fall weather. Um, lots of dorado around now. Very good dorado fishing. Best dorado fishing we've had all year. Now with no fishing pressure at all. There's probably Ten boats in the whole bay out fishing, and uh, they're picking up. Everybody's limiting on ten to thirty pounders. They're uh, they're slow trolling the valley who around the lighthouse, but pretty much anywhere and picking them up. A lot of nice fish, uh, mixed with a few yellowfin. They're catching the yellowfin down off a of Rencon there, and uh, and some nice size yellowfin. Just a couple of those in the thirty forty pound range, and they're catching those on Caballito. A lot of Sierra around, a lot of rooster fish around. Gosh, there's just tons of rooster fish along the beach. Not real big ones, 10 to 30 pounders, but they're doing well on there on the roosters and and then billfish on the outside. And very very little uh, fishing pressure. We had one released this week, and nobody's been out there trying for them, but they're around as well. End of the season, guys, for sure. Yeah. So, Rancho Lane Arrow, you're going to close after Thanksgiving, right? And then reopen no, in March? No, no. We, we stay open. Oh, you can stay We just open. don't advertise fishing. Yeah, we we leave the hotel open. And we've got the two big boats in the marina now. The marina is afforded us that. So, if people want to come down and fish, uh, because it's windy on and off, you know, we don't want to guarantee the uh, fishing. looks like the golf course south of us is opening up. And hopefully that will be open to the public as well. So on those windy days, we'll be able, able to offer some golfing, too. So. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting, up, we're getting uptown on the East Cape. Yeah, I oh, guess. God. Well, if somebody wants, it's not too early to book, like, for our tournament next June and also all the prime times, you know, a, a great winter getaway that's close to home. How do we get a hold of you if we want to book a trip to Rancho Leonero? Thanks, Pete. Yeah, it really is fish, uh, filling up pretty quickly for next year, especially June. Our oh, tournament. yeah. 800-646-2252 or RanchoLandArrow.com. All right, John. Well, hey, thanks for a uh, great report, and we will talk to you next Sunday. Have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks. Same to you guys. Same to all the listeners. All right. Thanks a lot for that. Appreciate that. All right. Phones are packed, Corey. Let's jump in. They it. are. Pete, let's do it. Let's talk to Mo. Mo calling from Vista this morning. Welcome to the show this morning, Mo. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, I just want to thank AFCO for AFCO or AFCO. For uh, their uh, rain gear, you know, I won that thing for the Ford dealership. Right, uh, the grand prize. You won the Anhydra nice. set. Yeah. Yes, and the bibs and the jacket is just fantastic, and I just appreciate so much for that gear. Thank you, Mo. Uh, and okay. I, I got to say, have you had a chance to – well, we haven't had any rain, really, per se, but have you had a chance to use that? Lobster fishing? We've been lobster fishing. I've been wearing it when we're lobster fishing, you know, late at night. So. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, that's great. Pretty nice. Yeah. The thing about the anhydrous gear is it's, it's high-end gear. It's not cheap. It's high-end gear. But it is so comfortable. It's unlike any other rain gear. And the the waterproofness of it is beyond comprehension. Whether you're lobster fishing, I, I use it in Alaska uh, a lot. I always take it to Whaler's Cove Lodge or or and 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 Kingfisher Charters uh, use it up there. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, that that uh, that 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 uh, event fabric that we use has got a 30k waterproof rating, which is I'm not going to explain that whole process, but it's a very very high waterproof, but yet permeable to release moisture from the inside uh, fabric. And it's it's super thin. It's a it's a great membrane fabric yeah. and. It's, uh, it's, it's not good bulky. Stuff. It's no, not like at rubbery at all. No, you yeah. could wear it in the tropics if you had to, yeah. and it won't feel like you're wearing a rubber tent. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's that's the beauty of that event is it it breathes. It actually yeah. breathes, but it's got the breathing holes in it will allow moisture from the inside to go out, but they won't won't allow water from the outside to come in. That's crazy. It's kind of some magic that that it's, that fabric does. That's it is it's hard it, to understand. But. It, and once you wear it, you'll realize that it's hey, it's worth every penny that you have to pay. For. I wear those bibs on the boat all the time, and they la it lasts. Yeah, it's very very durable. I haven't worn them out yet. It's yeah, crazy for sure. Hey Mo, enjoy that uh, and hydro gear from AFCO. Thanks a lot for the call this morning, and thanks for always participating in our 
Let's Talk Hookup Live broadcast, which, by the way, will be back at the Ford dealers next year. We'll be announcing those dates next year sometime. So uh, Ford dealers, San Diego County Ford dealers, will be back at the, the usual players and, and probably kick it off at the Mark Wheeler's Encinitas Ford again. So that, that's uh, great. We sure appreciate the support from the San Diego County Ford dealers, definitely. Let's go ahead and jump back on the phones. Let's do it, Pete. Let's talk to Don. Don's calling from Dana Point. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup, Don. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Um, I heard the 330 Marlin Cotton one day. I had to go watch the YouTube video, and if anybody has not seen it, it is unbelievable. I could not, it was like a wide-open yellowfin bite, like you guys were saying. It was. And it was I, like a tuna bite. It was It was unbelievable. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. I've, been, I've watched it a couple times while I was on hold, and, Greg, I got a pair of uh, your tactical fishing shorts. I was lucky enough to be a winner here before. I love them. Great gear, and if the knives and the the line or anything in comparison to what you put out with as far as products, it's, I'm, ama- I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Thanks for that, Don. I appreciate it. And yeah, the knives and the leader are both outstanding. We, we, as I said on that trip, we we had uh, all those releases on those fish. I don't think we ever broke one leader. We got some hooks back, and uh, and we broke the you know at the very top of the trace we broke where the connection was. But um, that leader has got tremendous strength, and if you get an opportunity, you give it a shot there. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah, nothing but good times. Yeah. Hey. hey, thanks a lot for the call, Don. Yeah, thanks a lot, Don. And that does open one line at 833-288-0973. Like we said, we're giving away three of the new knives from AFCO and three spools of the new Seiko fluorocarbon. We're going to be right back on Let's Talk Cookup. More of Greg and all this cool stuff. We return on the Let's Talk Cookup app and network. Hey, this is Rosie with Cedro Sport Fishing. Cedros Island is considered the yellowtail and calico bass fishing capital in the world, and nobody does it better than Cedro Sport Fishing. We are committed to providing first-class service to our guests, as well as an unforgettable fishing experience. We have made a good thing even better. We now have a direct flight departing to the CBX in San Diego. Leave home in the morning and fish in the afternoon. We have a beautiful waterfront lodge with first-class accommodations and meals. What are you waiting for? Call me at 619-772-7570 zero or check out sadosportfishing.com book soon trips are going fast hey it's great time to talk about great gear from shimano and uh greg you were just on a record-setting day 330 marlin in one day what were you using trinidad 30a was the real that was it huh shimano that was real. The real well it was all about castability it was all about being able to get a lot of drag because a lot of these fish you wanted to land them obviously as quickly as you could and we had a variety of gear on the boat, and some of that gear you could not get the drag and you could not make the long cast. But I had a Trinidad 30A on an 8-foot casting rod, and uh, my brother and I had the same gear and absolutely dominated throwing those long baits and, and getting bites out of those fish. And, um, yeah, they worked out great. And I, I, I don't know, we were averaging somewhere over 50 fish a day. A day. A piece. Wow. And um, my Trinidad 30A came home, and it's in, other than having a lot of scales and some line that's kind of screwed up. The reel's in perfect it's condition. It's still ready to fish. I put fresh line on it, and I'd use it tomorrow. The Trinidad A is just, and and you were saying there was a lot of other gear on the boat, but nothing performed like the Shimano gear. Yeah, the boat gear on the Bad Company was, was uh, mostly Shimano and mostly Trinidad's, and every one of those reels stayed in service the whole week, and I can't say that about all the tackle. What an only. endorsement. <laughs> yeah, it is. There you go. You want to catch big fish? You want to catch fish? Shimano is your answer. Check it out at your local Shimano dealer. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination destination for travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. 
He's not just my fishing buddy. After 30 years, he's a brother, and I'd sure hate to lose him. His bass boat's got nothing to do with it. So I make sure both of us wear a life jacket. Save the ones you love, even if they don't own a fancy boat. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Dana Lanning in Mission Bay is truly the one-stop shop for a great day on the water. This is Chelsea. Come see me and our expert fishing staff for just about anything you need for a great day of on-the-water fun. Looking for a fishing charter? Dana Lanning has you covered with the blackjacks. Perfect for up to four anglers or the impulse with up to six. Dana Lanning has a huge selection with everything you need to catch small bay bass or giant tuna. We will be sure to set you up with the right gear. We even offer real repair and Mexican and California fishing licenses. Don't forget the amazing deli at Dana Lanning with all the food, ice, and beverages you need to complete your day. Need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle with all the finest rods and reels, the hottest freshwater lures, and live bait. ECBT has an amazing staff who love to share their passion for fishing. East County Bait and Tackle is located at the end of the 67 freeway on Main Street and Lakeside. And Dana Landing is next to the Dana Launch Ramp on San Diego's Mission Bay. Check out danalanding.com for more details. This program is paid for by Let's Talk Hookup. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup and nothing but good times yeah, here this morning. Yeah, indeed. Greg Snowsberry from AFCO talking all kinds of fish stories here and it's time to talk about fishing. Let's find out what's going on biting. Let's do it, Pete. And the Catch Report today is sponsored by the Fish Pros of Fishman's Processing in San Diego. Not only offer the uh, best processing for your fish when your trip returns to the San Diego Landings, now with the Fish Pros Market, you can purchase fresh fish, smoked, jerky fish, spices, and rubs, smoked cheeses, and their famous tuna burgers at their convenient Liberty Station location. Or you can order online now at fishmansprocessing.com. Their spices and rubs are now also available at Dan and Landing on Mission Bay. Kind Indeed. of a cool deal. Go catch that tuna and uh, get that pokey mix. You would not be sorry. Captain Brian Woolley, Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. Good morning, Brian. Hey, good morning, guys. How's it going this morning? Great. It's a beautiful day to go fishing. It's gorgeous. Get it in while you can, right? Yeah, yeah. man. <clears throat> for sure. Gosh, man, more of the same for us this week. I mean, we had a couple days, obviously, that we uh, kept us off the water here midweek, but... Uh, our three-quarter day fishing still been pretty good. You know, we've been fishing down in that deep water off of, like, uh, San Onofre, Box Canyon, out in that little sector. And uh, we're still seeing some real good mixed bag uh, bottom fishing for our guys on our three-quarter day trips right now. The guys fishing the live sardines have been catching the better quality fish, for sure, no doubt about that. Plenty on the squid strips as well. Good bags of acacio, reds, and other mixed fish, I'd say, for our guys there. Plenty of quality sculpin and some real nice white fish, too, in the mix. So some good white meat there. I know I say it every week, but, gosh, that 100-gram Colt Sniper has been hot. That If you just came with five of those jigs and fished that all day, you'd go home with some quality fish, no doubt. Half-day fishing for us has been decent, too. Most of the action now is starting to come off the bottom. Guys fishing the, the sinker rigs. Guys bringing shrimp and clam, too, giving themselves a little bit of an advantage on some of those real nice quality sheephead. A few she, uh, excuse me, a few sand bass and some calico bass too as well. But like I said, most of the action is coming now off the bottom. We'll uh, we'll probably also on these uh, half day trips start working in some deeper bottom fishing off the point there, up off Salt Creek. Fish some of those rockfish spots out in front too as uh, things start to tighten up a little bit in that shallow water. But the Fury, he wrapped his uh, his season. He's done for the year. Gosh, man, Marcus had a great run for a first year boat owner. Man, sometimes you know. Keeping that momentum going is, is tricky, and he, he nailed it. So congratulations to him for a job well done on his first season owning that boat. They're onto their boat work. So, uh, you know, hats off to them, and thanks to all the people that came and fished with him. On our halibut derby, still that 20-pounder on the top. Not much change there this last week. I think the guys are out on the Clemente today, see if they can drift up another couple fish to get on that leaderboard. And, uh, again, looks like a short week with some weather and, of course, the holiday. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Thanks for coming fishing with us. Uh, if you guys want to hop on a trip, call the landing here. Our phone number is 949-496-5794. Of course, you can check us out on the web at danawarf.com. If you guys want to save a few bucks on a trip, use that code NOVEMBER, N-O-V-25, and that will save you 25% on one of these trips. N-O-V-25. You guys go to the front page of the Let's Talk Hookup website, letstalkhookup.com. Click on that Dana Wharf banner, and N-O-V-25 saves you 25%. Hey, Brian, so 100-gram uh, Colt Sniper for the shallow water rockfish, huh? It, it's, I mean, it's it's been very good. Guys are fishing it on, like, 
30 pound to 50 pound braid on a like an eight foot rod kind of a fast action rod and a 300 size reel um little leader you don't need a super long leader guys are fishing maybe like a rod length of the leader so they can you know trim it down as they need to throughout the day and they're fishing like a 25 pound uh, monofilament leader and just sinking it out I, any of those colors have been working as wow. far as the jig goes and how shallow blue, is green. shallow water like 250, 250 wow, feet. Wow, okay. Not deep. Still yeah, down. and that 100 grams is easy enough to get to the bottom. You're out of tangles, and that braid, you know, obviously cuts through the water, so you can get that 100 gram down real easy. And Sweet. It's been deadly. Sweet. Yep. Good tip. Hey, thanks a lot, Brian. Happy Thanksgiving to you, and we will talk to you next Sunday. Sounds good. Thanks, gentlemen. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys, too. We'll talk to you then. Awesome, right. Brian. And all the way from Dana Point down to my favorite place, one of my favorite places on the Baja Peninsula, and that's Rosie Flowers. From Cedro Sport Fishing. Good morning, Rosie. Hey, good morning, guys. Happy uh, Thanksgiving. Hey, Rosie. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Well, so our season ended on this last trip, and it ended the same way it started with catch and fish. It just amazes me how Cedros Island just keeps producing. The fishing may be different from time to time, but it just keeps producing. So the last trip that went down, there were a bunch of uh, bass guys on that uh, trip. And so they focused a lot on, on the bottom fishing, um, produced a lot of calicos, sheephead, um, and a lot of gold spot bass. Down on the island, they called them pinto bass, but they're gold spot bass. We had one that was up to, it was almost 10 pounds. And um, he got that, believe it or not, on Corey's MC swim base. That's so there, there you go. There you go. And that's, a, that <laughs> and, and that's a big one because a lot of them are usually in that, like, uh, 14 or, you know, 12 to 18 inches being a good one, you know. But yeah. 10 this pounds, was a pounds, that's a fat giant. boy. Yeah. It was a fat boy, awesome. and that was that was pretty awesome to see. Uh, also got a lot of sheephead, like I said, a lot of calico, the gold spot bass, and then they headed over to Chester's Rock and uh, basically did the same thing down there. As far as the yellowtail fishing this last week, um, kind of crazy. They were, all the big guys were caught in shallow water, and I'm meaning like, 20 feet of water wow. and uh you know they they did well with them but i tell you a lot of the ones uh they head straight to the rocks and they would break off so they lined up a little bit uh, up to 80 pound test and then they were getting those fish in so it was it was a, it was a good trip for those guys so i'm working on the schedule i've got um I've got a, a, a list of guys that I'm trying to place on trips. As soon as I get those guys placed on trip, I will open the schedule up on the website so everyone can see what is open. Um, as of right now, Pete, I actually think there's one of your trips does have a single opening on it, and I believe that's the July trip. The July trip, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah thought, we yeah. had someone that had to bow out, unfortunately. Um, you know, daughter getting married. I mean, what the heck? Doesn't yeah, well, come on. Her. That's so, no excuse. That's exactly. <laughs> they go fishing, yeah. But anyway, exactly. but there's there's going to be openings on the schedule. You'll have that fresh schedule up when? Uh, at, at I Pedro should Sport have that up in the next couple weeks. In the next, by the end of November, I'm hoping to have the schedule completely open so people can look at it and know which trips are there are open spots on. Hey, hey Rosie, so. I hate to tell you this. The end of November is next Saturday. I know. You better yeah. get it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, al I'm almost through the list. I've got about 10 more groups of guys that are picking their spots, and then we should be good to go by the 1st of November. Fantastic. So, well, if somebody to wants go. to book a trip for 2020, don't hesitate is my suggestion. Uh, call yeah. Rosie or get online, right? How do we do that? You got that. So give me a call. Phone number 619-772-7570. Um, you can email me at rosie at sedrosportfishing.com and, of course, our website, sedrosportfishing.com. So all right. it's all easy. Okay? Hey, thanks, Rosie. Thanks to you and Jeff for a great season of reports. Yeah. And we'll look forward to more next year. You got it. Sounds good. We'll see all you right. Hall. Thanks, yeah, Rosie. Awesome stuff, it. Rosie. And if that wasn't enough, down uh, the surf guru himself, Mr. Gundy Gunderson. Good morning, Gundy. Hey, how's it going? Good. Gundy, what's happening? Hey, my buddy's my buddy's sister. My buddy's sister was getting married, and he went fishing instead. He said he'll just make the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, smart man. Hey, we still got some good fishing going on before and after the storm. We had some catches yesterday, and you know the two species to focus on as the water's cooling here is the barred perch 
and we've had a little research at halibut bites. So we'll start up north hook line sinker reported good part perch fishing. Anglers had limits before the storm, and the bite bounced back on Saturday with more limits reported. Lots of fish uh, around that one pound mark with better models pushing two pounds. Goleta, Silver Strand, two hot spots there. Wiley's held, uh, held an uptown derby on Saturday, and a one pound, 12 ounce fish was taken near Magoo on a, a Lucky Crap 110 flash minnow. It's amazing how many times that uh, perch derby's won with a big old Lucky Crap. Uh, the second fish went one pound, eight ounce, was taken on a lugworm. Uh, the anglers overall had good fishing and good numbers. Uh, the group spread out, found good biters. Several of the beaches there, Oxnard, Ventura, all holding. A four-pound striped bass was taken near Hermosa Pier on a frozen anchovy, according to Just Fishing. The perch bites improving all along those South Bay beaches there. Big fish reported good halibut bite off the 72nd place jetty and south of the pier. You have to weed through some shorts, but there have been legal fish to 28 inches in the mix. Uh, drop shot. Zoom, flutes, whites, been the hot color there. The bark perch fight continues strong off South Laguna, according to Hogan's. Anglers still soaking sand crafts, finding them along the rocks there. Even small ones are stringing on a couple, and it's working fine on the perch. It's limit fishing there, too. Finally, Pacific Coast reported some good halibut catches in the lagoon. Several legal fish were taken on frozen anchovy and live smelt before the storm, and a handful were taken there yesterday. Uh, with more weather on the horizon, you know, you just have to fish it day to day and uh, go down there and see what the conditions are. But uh, I think we got another little storm going. But kind of encouraging front, seeing the bark perch and the halibut bite and the few striped bass in the mix. So still plenty to do in the surf. Absolutely. And, Gundy, I think with these storms, it opens up some nice pockets and depressions, too. Yeah, we haven't had good storms for a while, and that's definitely, uh, last time I was down there, there wasn't really well-defined trenches and holes, and it, it kind of sanded in, so that's definitely a benefit, definitely. Look forward to it. Yeah, indeed. Hey, thanks, Gundy Gunderson, Surf Guru. You have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll talk to you next yeah, Sunday. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, guys. We'll All talk right. to you on the other side. Thanks for yeah, the great report. it's an awesome report, Gundy, and it's sponsored today by Dana Landing on Mission Bay, your one-stop shop for everything you need to go fishing, complete saltwater tackle shop, full deli, Mexican and California licenses, trips and six-pack charters, and when it comes to freshwater tackle, Check out East County Bait and Tackle for the full line of uh, freshwater gear and live bait. Great day on the lake. It'll take definitely take care of you at East County Bait and Tackle. Dana Landing right across from uh, SeaWorld on Dana Landing on Mission Bay, right next to the Lawn Tramp. And East County is at the end of uh, the 67 on Main Street right there in East County. And definitely a good place to visit. And oh, yeah. You're a regular there, I'm sure. Oh, I love it. I'm sure yeah. Greg, Greg's visited, too. Yeah, hey, we're going to be right back with Greg on Let's Talk Hook Up and more, more of exciting stuff in the next hour and lots of good stuff coming up. We're going to be right back on Let's Talk Hook Up and Let's Talk Hook Up app and network. Rock Cod Rick here for West Coast Marine and Parker Boats. You see them all over Southern California waters. Parker Boats at the launch ramp, the offshore islands. You wake up in the morning on an overnight trip and there they are. Parker Boats of all size fishing in the same area as the sporty. There's a good reason for it. Fishability and seaworthiness. Of all the boats out there, my boat partner and I chose to get a brand new 25 Parker Center Console from Kevin Kelly and the gang at West Coast Marine and I could not be happier. Wow, what a fishing machine. Parker Marine builds a heavy duty, industrial strength boat probably overbuilt but that's why so many four and six pack charters choose to operate parkers we thank the guys at pinnacle sport fishing season sport fishing one man charters black and blue sport fishing for their confidence in parker boats Take it from me, if you are ready for a new Parker at a fair, upfront, and honest deal, you need to see Kevin Kelly at West Coast Marine. Located at 1555 Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa, or check out their inventory and information at westcoastmarine.com. Hi there, I'm Hayden from Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking, Southern California's go-to spot for Hobie fishing kayaks right on the water in Mission Bay. Let me tell you, we have big things going on in the shop this time of year. This November marks the 40th year anniversary of Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking. And as a family-owned and operated business, my family and I would like to thank all of our friends and customers for the support over the decades. We also have the brand new 2020 model year Hobie Fishing Kayaks, introducing new features like the automatically retracting kick-up fence, as well as the revolutionary new Mirage Drive 360, which allows you to rotate and steer your Mirage Drive 360 degrees, giving you 100% control over your fishing kayak. Hobie's also released a new line of more economic options, like the new Mirage Passport 10.5 and 12.0. 
coming in at only $13.99 and $15.99 respectively, while still including the Hobie Mirage Drive with comfortable raised seats and tons of fishing features. Get down to our shop, Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking, right on the water in Mission Bay and see it all for yourself. Or check us out online at FastLaneKayaking.com. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-225. 1-800-646-BAHA and RanchoLeonero.com I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. A top fleet and superb fishing is what Seaforth Sport Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, it's no wonder Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, El Gato Dos, Pride, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing for charters or regular open party schedule. Check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at BuyFordNow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Your vacation bucket list can't be completed without visiting the Katmai Lodge, Alaska this summer. A world-class wilderness fishing paradise on the banks of the famed Alagnac River. Get in the action fishing for all five species of Pacific salmon. King, sockeye, chum, coho, plus trophy-sized rainbow trout, arctic grayling, and dolly varden. Both in the Alagnac and nearby waters. Katmai Lodge's Coast Guard and CPR certified guides are fly fishing fanatics and know how to help you reel them in, ensuring your days are fish filled while you enjoy freshly prepared snacks and barbecued lunches on the river. Back at the lodge, enjoy fireside appetizers and refreshments each afternoon. Delicious dinner prepared by the lodge's exceptional chef. Take a quick fly out trip to Brooks Falls in Katmai National Park for world renowned bear watching. And check out our trout fishing specials at Katmai.com. That's K A T M A I.com. Katmai.com. <laughs> 